Hey, howdy folks, it's Justin Charnel here, uh, talking today about this, basically the very first email in my new sequence that I set up that's reaping about, uh, I wanna say a little bit more than 20% open rates, a little bit more than 20% click rates, and a little bit less than 20% actual sign up rates. So, just gonna kinda walk through the whole format of this. It's really simple and really, easy and I just want to make a disclaimer right now this is not for if you are like a digital marketing firm or SEO firm or or you're out there doing some kind of uh, whatever more, more or less uh, taking over an aspect of a business and you're, and you're hitting very specific needs um, you know where you, where you want to have like a Hey, I saw on your website that this was going on or, or you know, uh, your schema markup's a little messed up. I can fix that for you, blah, blah, blah. It's really going to work for that. This is for, this is for cold emails. Cold emails for prospects that you know are in the market for your service, if that makes sense. If they're, if you know they're using a similar service that you offer or a service similar to offer, or it's, they use a service that is similar to one that you offer or you believe that they could benefit. This isn't just going on to uh, your local chamber of commerce, getting a list of emails for every business in your city and saying, you know, SEO, boom, bang, uh, sign me up. This is, I, I know this is, this is, these are the prospects that my guys bring me every day, a hundred of them that are saying, hey, we want, uh, or we, we're in the industry, the niche, the niche industry, whatever. B, we're already using a similar service. And I'm offering an alternative for them. So, that being said, uh, we'll just start crunching this real quick. That's how I start the email. Just first name, no hey, no good morning, no no nothing. Just I keep it simple. Uh, the fewer the words, the better. So I actually read it, and that's that's really how I open this up. It's this is this is my pitch right here. I wanted to throw on your radar my service that is my benefit. And copywriters everywhere are cringing right now because uh, I'm still I'm I, and then the next sentence starts with we. But that's that's what it is. Uh, they don't know me. I don't know them. This is I, I'm have to. This is what I'm trying to just say. Hey, here's my service, and here's why you should use it. Um, th that's about it. Hey, I, I, I walk dogs, and I I'm cheaper than everybody else. Or hey, I I I I, I rent out my bandsaw that uh, is used for commercial use or whatever. Whatever the case is, here's your service and here's your benefit that you're offering to them. We saw company name doing whatever you saw them do. Shazam, we saw your company, we saw XYZ company uh, using a dog shit pick, picking up service and want you to know that dog shit picking up service dot com allows uh, preemptive, I don't know, dog bay, I don't know. They, it's another benefit that they, they, could, they could use uh, from your service, whatever that case is. We saw that your company is selling water balloons uh, on, on eBay. And one, you know that waterballoons.com allows companies to list their products for only 5% uh, flat um, service fee, whatever the case is. That's it. 
two benefits. You're plugging in their name. You're plugging in uh, their company name and whatever your services that you know that they're already using, but you believe that you can do it better. That's 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 my pitch. That's that's it. Two sentences long. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Uh, let, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'm here answering questions. Uh, let them know that you're available. Um, and thank you. Oh, actually, in mine, I have thanks. Keep things informal. Signature. That is the, 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 the very first email I'm sending out in a nutshell to these lukewarm to cold uh, prospects. That's it. Super simple. What they could read, it might take 15 seconds to read this. And in that moment in time, they say, okay, well, A, I'm the president of the company. I don't handle this. Let me forward this over to biz dev or HR or Joe in the laundry room or in the mail room or whatever the case is. And then they'll be able to you know, determine if this is a service that can be used, useful. Uh, that's a lot because I'm reaching, I'm going to the top. I'm talking to presidents. Uh, owners, CEOs, vice presidents of whatever, uh, whatever business development folks, whatever, because uh, they'll know who to who to get this uh, get this in touch with, or who to you know forward this email to. And right now, let's just crunch some numbers. So far this week, it's Wednesday. Uh, I've basically taken. I, I've gotten rid of all my other email campaigns. I had two other ones. I said, you know, what? we're just going to stick to just one and we're going to make this one the best we possibly can. So, uh, so far sent out 657 emails this week. It's Wednesday. It's about four o'clock. So it was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I don't send them all on weekends. Um, so far this week, five people have any, they just deleted them. Okay. That's fine. It's five people. That comes out to, I don't know, a percent that doesn't matter because it's too small to even calculate. Uh, but we have 140 opens, which comes out to a 21% open rate. And of those, uh, there's 32 clicks to the website, which comes to a 22% uh, click-through rate based on opens. I think that's about a 5% as far as, let's just see, 32 divided by 749. 4% click uh, based on all emails sent. I'll go to the website so far this week. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six new orders. Uh, or six new customers. Six new whatever the case is. Uh, six. So six divided by 32. 18%, 19% actual um, close rate, so to speak. Whatever you want to call that. So about 1% of every email that I've sent out so far this week from this email, this is the first touch, the first time I'm talking to these people has resulted in them coming on the website, signing up, placing an order, waiting for results. 1% cold email, first touch. Oh, it's not written over there anymore. If you watch video like two or three days ago talking about the uh, sequence, anybody that didn't click to the website here in a few days, I'm also gonna clean it up a little bit, but here in a few days, about a week, uh, next Friday or maybe the Monday after that, they'll get another email uh, seven business days later. Another email just saying, hey, I don't know if you got that first email, but here's the service we offer. And then we'll see. We'll see if numbers improve. If we go down, they probably they probably will decline because this is more or less the, uh, you know, anybody that was going to click has already clicked. But, you know, it takes like I don't know, five to 12 interactions or touches, so to speak, before somebody actually becomes a customer. So, Yeah. I'd say uh, I'd say this really rinky dink uh, email, three sentences, a thanks signature in their first name, is pretty dang, pretty dang cool. Uh, subject line is service benefit. That's it, and it's I think it's three or four uh, three or four words long, like. Uh, dog cleaning, comma, uh, 
schedule a week in advance. Well, that'd be too long. Uh, scheduling available or something, whatever. Dog cleaning scheduling available or slots available or whatever the case is. And it's that easy. It's that simple. And uh, all it takes is just setting things up or just saying, you know what? I think overall of the 1,400 or so emails I've sent so far this month, I got one person that said, hey, uh, we already talked. I already emailed you and said, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we'll keep it in mind. So I said, oh, shit, let me just go ahead and make sure they're not in any more email sequences. Another one said, hey, we already discussed uh, what we're doing, blah, blah, blah. We'll keep you in mind. I said, okay, I'll remove, make sure they're out of there also. I don't want to, I don't want to like piss people off. And, and if they say, remove me from your list, don't email me ever again. Uh, we already have a solution. I say, okay, I'll tag them in my CRM, say like three months. And in three months, then I'll email them back or something like that. I say, hey, you know, we're still available. We've just grown a lot and we're still offering the same service. So it's, uh, it's, it's nice.